Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and another video in Vlogmas. I'm having so much fun. I definitely needed those couple days off and I am feeling much, much better, though I don't sound completely better, but here we are. Today's video is going to be a new episode in my, oh, the shave. <laughs> I recently did an update on my makeup drawer of shame, which I can link in the cards. Those are makeup products that I have never used before. It's the makeup drawer of shame because typically they're not all that new. They've been kind of lingering for a while. And the consensus was, Emily, if you're going to count foil packs in your inventory, just use them up and get them out of here before the end of the year. So for the makeup drawer of shame, I'm going to use up a couple of samples and then I have a few of the other items as well. Um, I don't have a full face of Makeup Drawer of Shame items. I don't like doing a full face of first impressions uh, just because I feel like then I don't know what's working, what's not. But I do have the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer, the Rare Beauty Lipstick. I will use one of these and I don't think that I'm going to completely use up some of these things uh, just in today's application so I'll just use it tomorrow as well to finish it off. Um, I can use this up though. This is the Huda Beauty Faux Filter Luminous Matte Foundation and the Rare Beauty Concealer. So we're going to be using up these four foil packs today but then I also in the palettes I've never used before video you guys said it should be pretty easy to knock out some of the smaller items so we're going to be using the Colourpop Head Capricorn in charge. Is it Capricorn season yet? I don't know. <laughs> Anyways I also have my e.l.f. Active uh, lip and cheek palette. I have this in my inventory as cream cheek products. I'm going to be using the cream blushes today. And then one of you said that you really loved your iconic London bronzer. So I have been putting it off using this just because I'm always panning a bronzer, but we're going to use it today and uh, figure out if I like this ginormous bronzer. It looks really beautiful. So I do have my brows on, so that might be why I look a little strange. I now have a huge mess in front of me. I'm going to zoom you guys in a little bit and we're going to get going on these makeup items of shame. Hello. We're going to start off with this Tatcha Silk Canvas. This is very small, but I'm only actually going to put this on half of my face because we are using a foundation as well. I'm trying to open this, I should have brought scissors. Um, and I do kind of want to see if I like that foundation. So I'm going to put the e.l.f. Putty Primer on one half and the Tatcha Silk Canvas on the other half. Let's see, I don't know how much to apply. I'm going to go with like half this package. It might have been a lot. But it smells really nice. I feel like people either really loved or hated this product and well in saying that I don't really hear anybody talk about it anymore so it's also very pricey so I don't think this is one that I would actually uh, purchase. Wow okay it feels very hydrating and it's actually decently blurring. Um, the pores on my cheek right here do look blurred and um, this side has no primer, this side has Sorry, the Tatcha Primer. I am going to put my e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer on the other side of my face. Just to fill in these pores. I did just do my skincare, my SPF. So that is all over my skin as well. You guys will have to let me know what um, kind of theme sort of thing you want to do with Oh the shame next time. I want to keep this going until I literally have no brand new makeup left which I'm not on a no buy so that'll probably be never. <laughs> Let's hop in to this Huda Beauty Luminous Matte Foundation. Um, I think I'm going to have to mix these two shades. This does look too light for me. Fair Cashew 
And then there's light medium latte, which definitely looks too dark for me. But let's start off with fair and I'll start in the center of my face. And then if I do need to kind of mix for the outer part, we'll see how that goes. Come on now. Is that enough to do a full face? There's like barely any product in here at all. I've definitely had foundation samples uh, better than that. I'm going to use my e.l.f. Ultimate Blending Brush. I do have a wet sponge here as well. Oh boy, this feels thick and literally nothing. Okay, well, this might be a fail and I have removed what is in here and I do not see okay well this has been removed from my inventory <laughs> let's see if I can find something else okay I also have this Kosas tinted face oil but now I'm worried like I have a mixture of primers going on so this could be a dire mistake. I have the shades 3, 5.5, and 8.2. I'm just going to go with 3, uh, which is fair cool. But 5.5 is medium olive, and that is certainly not my shade at all. Okay, we're going to get through more than I even hoped today. Uh, that was a little unexpected. Oh, dear lord. I kind of like sunk right into the brush. Okay, at least we have product. It does feel a little oily. Again, this is something that I don't think I would like actually buy the full product. I thought I dropped some over my dress. This is showing every teeny tiny dry patch that I have on my skin. Okay, I'm going to like smear this on and then blend it out with my sponge. But that did use up this entire package. Check that item off the list too. I do like including samples in my inventory because or else I just completely forget about using the product and it will just sit here and I will pass along a sample if I have no interest in even trying a product um, but typically like these samples I have requested from uh, Sephora usually and they are something I have like a mild interest in just trying for the first like one time just to have an opinion uh, I'm just curious even if maybe it's like something really expensive like the Tatcha that I wouldn't actually buy. This looks extra bad on the Tatcha side. Uh, I'm thankful that I have another use left in the Tatcha sample so I can try it with a foundation that I'm panning and, ha and just so I can know like maybe these just don't mix well because it's an oil based foundation and I don't know what the ingredients are for the Tatcha but this side of my face looks really gross uh, right here. I don't know if you guys are able to see that but I certainly can. Hopping into concealer, I have the Rare Beauty concealer here. Uh, again just a sample and this is actually something I am quite interested in trying. I'm going to go with 160C for my under eyes and I think I could use 180 as a foundation another day. Again I'm really not too worried about using all that's in these samples uh, but I do want to try the ones that are my shade. I am just going to put this on with my finger. Oh it is very pink toned. I have neutral leaning warm undertones so but um, I think 180 W is too dark for my under eyes so this is just what happens when you try and use up samples I suppose. There's a lot of product in here. I'm going to have to be careful setting that aside so that I can use it more. That's probably going to take me about a week to use up, but that is fine. 
The goal is to reduce my inventory as well as reduce the number of items in my makeup drawer of shame, of course. Okay, that blended out very easily, has probably medium coverage. I didn't really apply that much. I uh, just tapped a little on with my finger. Okay, I like how it's looking so far, actually. I did bring my Bare Minerals powder down. Oh, I need to do cream blush as well. I can't forget that. But it's not my absolute favorite for setting my under eye, so I'm actually going to grab my favorite under eye setting powder to give this concealer the best chance. Okay, first cream blush. I'm doing a more cool toned look today. So I'm going to go with this shade right here in this e.l.f. Active palette. I got this for free in an e.l.f. order. And I'm also going to use this e.l.f. Putty Blush brush. I like it for all cream blushes. It picks it up really well. It also blends it out. I don't have high hopes for this Kosas Tinted Face Oil on my skin. I just don't have interest in a product that's so finicky like that where I would have to be mindful of what primers I'm using. I also have combo skin so I feel like an oil based foundation is just going to slip all around and then I was really surprised at the clinging of dry patches because that just makes me wonder like who is that for? Like an oil-based foundation I would think dry skin but then it doesn't look good on where my skin is dry over here if that makes sense. This is a very beautiful wash of color. I have built it up because I love blush. I'm kind of a blush clown. Uh, it will be toned down once I have the rest of my makeup on but I just keep putting it on. I believe I saw Emily Noel rave about this cream palette before and you know what I do want to try this highlighting shade these don't actually have shade names but I thought this would be like a glossy wet highlighter look it is from the elf active line so if you are someone who likes a gentle wash of color when you go to the gym or something this might be a good option so far I like that. It didn't pick up the foundation or anything on my cheeks. It's just a very gentle wash of color. I like the variety of shades in here. So while it is like on the sheer side, these two shades are moderately deep for like my fair skin. So I think there's a decent range in, you know, a four pan cream blush situation for a variety of skin tones. Now I'm going to set my under eyes with my Ciate London Everyday Vacay Powder. This is my favorite under eye powder. Tap out the creases and set that. I love that this powder smells like vacation. It has that like Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer, you know, like kind of coconutty tropical scent. I'm actually going to set my whole face with this. I have it out. Sorry Bare Minerals, I know you're in a project and that's why I brought this down, but this powder is just my favorite. I wanted to get a bunch of filming done, but this Kosas face oil looks disgusting on my forehead. Can you see that? Okay now going into bronzer, this iconic London behemoth of a bronzer. Going in with this BH Cosmetics brush. I have the shade medium bronze. Definitely warmer than what I prefer for this time of year. But I think in the summertime when I have more of a tan, when I actually like my foundation, <laughs> this is actually nice. It kind of smells good too. I don't know what my thing is with smelling everything, but that's the thing that happens over here apparently. Oh my god, my forehead looks absolutely disgusting. 
Okay, this bronzer, as a first impression, is getting the thumbs up from me. My blush is still peeking through. That blended in so easily. Now my hair is absolutely crazy. Um, I just like want to completely cut off my giant forehead because it looks disgusting. But, oh my god. This looks really great so far. All right, some time has passed. The kids are now off the bus. And I think my, my uh, base is looking pretty awful. But for eyeshadow, I'm going to be using the Head Capricorn in Charge Zodiac Quad from ColourPop. Just something really quick and basic. This is blending seamlessly, so easy. I think I'll get a lot of use out of this basic neutral quad. I really do like cool tones, especially in the winter months. My son Max is a Capricorn and that is why I bought this quad. There were so many of the ColourPop Zodiac quads that I wanted and I settled on three that aligned with my family star signs. That's how I made the decision. So Max is a Capricorn, Emmett and I are both Aquarius, and Wyatt is a Taurus. My husband's a Gemini. I don't even know that much about zodiac signs, but I think it's fun. Especially those um, graphics on Instagram. I love sharing those to my story. This dark brown matte is feeling a little patchy to me. It's not really wanting to stick and blend. I'm using my Milani Eye Primer, which I use every single day. I'm trying to use that up. So I'm not going to like write off this quad. Do you see that like big blank spot? I'm not even gonna fuss with this too much because I am hating how my makeup looks. I'm going to take this shade here, which I think is Hustle Hard. Um, so I'm not going to keep this on and continue filming, which was my plan. But there's another makeup look I wanted to do during Vlogmas, so maybe I can do that one later tonight and wash this off. So I'm not going to keep fussing with that dark brown, but it is... Um, Looking pretty patchy in my opinion. I do like this shimmer shade though. I do prefer applying my shimmers with my finger. I do think that's really pretty. I'm gonna take uh, the shade Play Hard, I think, on the same finger, so they're kind of being mixed together a little bit on the inner corner. I mean, it doesn't look terrible. I'm just not impressed. If that makes sense, for mascara, I'm going to use my Ilia mascara that I have been using. This is almost gone. I do have quite a number of mascaras in my makeup drawer of shame, but I don't like opening a ton of them at a time. Okay, and finally, for lips, we're going to be using a Rare Beauty lipstick. Um, I have the shades Gifted and Lively. Gifted is more of a brown and Lively is kind of peachy. Neither are really exactly what I want. So I think I'm just gonna go with Lively. And once again, if this doesn't finish it up, I will finish it off. This looks dried up and crusty and this is one of my newest samples. I'm just going to apply this with my finger. I am getting a product. Oh, this is more orangey peach than it appears. Are these matte lipsticks? Yes. Okay, not the best application with my finger um, in terms of like opacity, but I don't have a lip brush. So that is going to have to do. It does look pretty. I just, it's not exactly what I wanted with this look, but that is going to be it for this episode of Oh the Shame. To recap, I like the color of this lipstick, but it's not really what I wanted. 
I liked all but one shade in this quad so far. That's actually been my experience with these quads is I typically like three out of four shades. So that's kind of a bummer. The concealer still looks really good. I am quite pleased with this actually. There's a decent amount of product in here so I will continue to try it but so far this is something that I would consider like actually buying. This Kosas tinted face oil is disgusting on my chin. On my chin? Well yes, I meant on my skin though. And this primer I'm glad I can try again because I was actually really liking how my skin looked before putting this over top of it so I think that these two didn't mix well um, but this looks gross even on the side of my face that I used my elf putty primer which typically works better for me so um, I'm going to try this one again and we also get to throw away the Huda Beauty sample as well. So I think I made pretty decent progress on my samples collection so that was a fabulous idea from you guys. Let me zoom you out. Using up samples in my makeup drawer of shame was a fantastic idea so thank you so much to everyone that told me to just like get those out of here. I thank you. As I keep saying I am very distracted because this video has taken me hours to film uh, just because I have to keep stopping and my hair is windswept because I was outside. Um, I'm going to wash my makeup off now because I really don't like, like when your foundation looks disgusting it just affects everything else and also the eyeshadow being patchy, I don't know. Um, so this was kind of a fail in that sense but anyways um i should also mention i really did like the elf blush that i used uh while it's a sheer wash of color i think it's beautiful and it is peeking through my powder and i put bronzer on top of it speaking of which i really did like this bronzer as well and is that all that i tried yes I need to stop rambling. Let me know your ideas for the next episode in my Oh the Shame series. I wish I could do these more frequently, but I just have too many series going on that I like to do on my channel. But give me ideas for the next one. Give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.